I think regardless of what happened last week in the markets, the, the administration is going to continue forward with its plan and its agenda, which, as you probably remember, President Biden issued an executive order a few months ago, and the agencies, including the CFTC, are working hard towards putting together reports together that would include legislative proposals um, and just policy ideas of what we need to do to regulate the market writ large, whether it's stable coins, markets, payments, custody, all the issues that uh, are involved in this very complicated and very novel technology, which obviously is driving disruption, but also causing some uh, confusion and some chaos in markets at times. There's a lot of back and forth. There's a, a Senate bill that's made its way through uh, that uh, would leave the SEC in charge of a large portion of the oversight. I think it would move some of the regulation to the CFTC. Have you, are you familiar with that bill and what do you think of it? Yeah, I mean, you know, this is a little bit of an age old issue between the CFTC and the SEC. We have a great relationship historically. We continue to communicate and work together. We have a lot of common registrants, but Within this space, you know, in my view, it makes sense for commodities to be regulated by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and securities to be regulated by the SEC. And within the, the sphere of digital assets and the coins, which make up thousands and thousands, there are naturally going to be some commodities and some securities. And in my view, it makes sense to sort of parse through the two and figure out where we can place each. And it's going to be difficult because from a legislative standpoint, um, again, given what I said earlier, given the novelty of some of these uh, um, coins and the technology, we're going to have to figure out what will constitute a security under the traditional securities law and what would constitute more of a commodity so that we can regulate appropriately given the two different uh, legal structures. Yeah, it's tricky. It's all in the eye of the beholder. The SEC chair, Gary Gensler, has said he thinks most of those tokens are securities under the law right now. Does that sound about right to you? Well, I, you know, I could say for sure Bitcoin, which is the largest of the coins and has always been the largest, regardless of the total market cap of the entire, um, you know, uh, digital asset market capitalization is a commodity. So um, Ether as well, I've argued this before, my predecessors have as well, is a commodity. So there may be, in fact, hundreds, if not thousands of security coins, uh, but there are plenty of commodity coins. And I think it makes sense as we've done historically to make sure that each agency has jurisdiction over commodities and security, securities respectively. I mean, there is, there is some disagreement between the two agencies about who should be in charge here, right? Well, I wouldn't say there's disagreement. You know, we're each trying to do what's best. And right now, and we saw this last week, a lot of people got hurt. A lot of um, value was lost in the market. And there really are no customer protections right now. We have a number of state level uh, regulations and oversight, but in terms of market oversight, in terms of disclosures, we don't really have much right now as it relates to traditional financial markets. I've made this argument before our markets, whether it's the derivatives market or the securities markets are the, the best in the world because of the regulations we have, the accountability and the enforcement behind the legal structure. And I think it's important as we continue to see this market scale and integrate itself into more traditional financial markets, we need to put forward a regulatory framework that will protect customers, make appropriate disclosures, and ultimately, for those who support the industry, I think, support its growth and maturity over the next couple of years. So regardless of what the narrative might be about the differences between us and the SEC, I think we are both like-minded in the fact that we want to regulate this thoughtfully, protect customers, protect financial stability, and we'll figure out the details of what might constitute a security, what might constitute a commodity, and do what we've done in the past, whether it was after the financial crisis or going back many decades when we had to parse out security futures and commodities. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.